Also on the subject of livestock, Extension Beef Cattle Specialist Dave Lawman explains the study underway on breeding cattle for better feed efficiency while also maintaining body condition. One of the things we've been working on the last few years are just factors that influence cow efficiency. One aspect of that uh, we decided to look at this last year uh, was the impact of crossbreeding system compared to straight bred animals. We chose to look at the differences between straight bred Angus cattle and what most of the industry thinks of as black baldy cows or Hereford Angus crossbreds. There's not much data published recently on feed or forage intake of crossbred animals to compare to straight bred animals. So in the, in the project that we did this last year, for, for a number of years we've been breeding our cows, about, about half of the cow herd is straight bred Angus cows, uh, and about half of the cow herd is Hereford Angus cross, so black baldy sired by Hereford, Hereford bulls. There's two phases to the research that we've done. We've, we've looked at maintenance energy requirements, and then we've also looked at voluntary feed intake. So if you just turn the cow out on the pasture, how much feed will she consume? One factor that would help with cow efficiency would be cows that are easy fleshing or maintain their body condition better. And, and if they're able to do that while consuming fewer nutrients, obviously it's a big advantage in terms of, of cow efficiency. In our study, uh, in fact, the Hereford Angus cows or the black baldy cows did have better body condition score when this when we started the experiment uh, they were about three tenths of a one body condition score unit higher and then when we went through the second phase of the project for uh, voluntary feed intake they were about six tenths of a body condition score higher compared to the straight bred angus cow so it's an indication you know that they're better able to store feed energy but at the same time, the interesting thing is they, that they consumed a little bit less feed. And by a little bit, it was just under two pounds less per head per day of, a, we'll say, a moderate quality forage. Uh, and so if you put that on an annual basis, uh, it, wound, it wound up being about 725 pounds less forage consumed in a year. Now, if you put that on a stocking rate basis, uh, and if you're in, in country, let's say native rangeland country, uh, some of the more productive native rangeland in Oklahoma might produce around 3,000 pounds of forage per acre. Uh, but our, our rangeland ecologists tell us that we need to try to consume only about 25% of that. Well, 25% of 3,000 is about 750 pounds. So in other words, the crossbred cows you should be able to maintain them with one acre per cow less or lower stocking rate. The, the uh, improvement you get in fertility and longevity is still viable in crossbred animals. And so it's, it's not a free lunch in the cattle industry, but it's as close to a free lunch as you're gonna get. So it's a, it, it is a tremendous impact just by using a different breed.